There are types of attacks in which the owner of the virtual machine will be able to access the data of all virtual machines on the same server. Such attacks associated with increased access rights can use not only software errors in the OS code, but also hardware bugs in the processor architecture, which is confirmed by the sad experience of Intel, which is forced to close the vulnerabilities in its Xeons at the cost of reduced performance. At the same time, AMD EPYC 7000 series processors were originally developed for a higher level of security when working in isolated environments, conventional and container virtualization, that is all that today is most in demand in the IT business. Under the big word security technology, there are two main innovations. The first is a separate security core AMD secure processor, ARM Cortex-A5, which controls the generation and storage of keys, as well as taking over the mechanism of loading a trusted operating system. It is integrated into every AMD EPYC 7000 series processor. The second is the encryption of RAM by the AES-128 algorithm, which is performed completely at the hardware level by the memory controllers themselves. And if we all know and use disk encryption, such protection of RAM for many IT specialists is still a novelty. TSME protects from cold boot attack, in which the attacker freezes special spray memory modules on a running machine to a temperature of minus 50 degrees Celsius and turns off the power, preventing the operating system from resetting the information in the cells. At such a low temperature, de-energized memory can store all its information up to 6 minutes, and at minus 100 degrees up to 10 minutes. Attackers only need to install the DIMM module in a machine with an upgraded BIOS and its own operating system and merge the information stored on it to safely extract from the memory dump encryption keys, passwords, user data, and in general everything that was in the operating system. Each time the server is loaded, the processor changes the memory encryption key, so it will not be possible to read the stolen data even after downloading the server from your flash drive. In addition to forced transparent encryption, AMD EPYC 7000 processors support memory scrambling, which is enabled similarly via a secret tab in the BIOS. These two modes work independently and nullify attempts to open the server by a method of cold loading. It turns out that if you use a server dedicated exclusively to your applications, for example, a database server or storage, the total memory encryption function is a serious barrier against an attack related to physical access to DIMM or NVIDIA modules. Unfortunately, AMD TSME does not save you from other types of attacks. AMD SME, a secure memory encryption works on calls to the operating system, which selects which pages of memory to encrypt and which not. The SME function has two modes of operation, encryption of all memory is similar to TSME or only selected pages, but in all cases, a single shared key is used, which does not change during the whole time after booting the operating system. In general, the SME function already looks excessive since it requires support from the software. It is supported by Linux kernel 4.14 and above. As you can see, AMD SME feature and memory scrambling do not have a major impact on performance. Similar to TSME, this function protects the data in memory against attacks involving physical access to the memory. First of all, SME is better for its update mechanism, if for fully hardware TSME all updates are only done through flashing the BIOS, which the manufacturer of the motherboard can forget, for SME vendor releases updates to the Linux kernel via the GIT repository. But this information is rather important for software developers, because the system administrator can only update the operating system in the usual manner, and be sure that the system has all the patches related to encryption. And of course, selective RAM encryption achieves better performance, so let's test the speed. With pipeline access, we can see a maximum speed reduction of about 5% in database write requests. Let's just say if you are looking for a performance difference in RAM-intensive applications you will not find it. Running a MySQL test with a 2.7 GB database, which is 12 million records, we did not notice the impact of TSME on speed. In general, the configuration of the processor modern multi-core EPYC CPUs is more suitable not for the dedicated server under one application, but for the cloud. If you rent a virtual server from a cloud provider, a sysadmin of this service with root access to the server where your VM runs can read the contents of your virtual machine's memory and pull out credit card numbers, passwords, or your customer's email addresses, 
anything your company values. Also, the virtual environment is affected by the VM escape attack, where the client renting the VPS applies the attack on the increasing right can read the memory of virtual machines, receiving the necessary data. AMD has also taken care of this type of attack. The SEV, Security Encrypted Virtualization, feature encrypts the area of RAM allocated to the virtual machine, regardless of the hypervisor. Each VM uses their own key, and neither hypervisor root admin, nor hackers using the attack of the rights elevation will not be able to read the contents of a memory dump of your virtual machine. Moreover, the AMD SEV function works independently of TSME and SME, and on one physical server you can combine both conventional virtual machines and their variants with individually encrypted memory, and any application running on the host can use SME encryption. If you think that SEV is limited to encryption only, you are mistaken. When processing data from a virtual machine, the processor marks all information with tags corresponding to a specific virtual machine. This technology is very similar to virtual networks, VLANs, in network switches. All the time while the data of a single VM is received or generated inside the processor, it remains available only for this virtual machine, no matter where it is, including all levels of cache. Even the hypervisor and the host operating system do not have access to the memory pages of the VM being processed by the CPU. Thus, even at the time of computing in the processor, the data remains shielded not only from other virtual machines, but also from the server environment itself. If the attacker wants to compromise a hypervisor by installing a driver, replacing the mapping of physical memory to access the VM's RAM, AMD6 will not allow this attack to take place. Whether you are a customer or a cloud service provider, it is important to remember that an AMD SEV virtual machine in the cloud is protected not only from hackers from outside, but also from the host server. Yes, we are talking about the fact that any attack on the caches or mechanisms prefetching architecture AMD EPIC is meaningless since at best the hacker will get the data in encrypted form. Yes, AMD is proud of the encrypted RAM implementation in the open source project Kata Containers, developed by the OpenStack Foundation. This platform has open support on operating systems Clear Linux, Fedora, and CentOS 7. It is used by such internet giants as JD.com, supports Docker and Kubernetes orchestrators, while providing security at the same level as virtual machines. In fact, the architecture of the Kata is such that the containers run inside of SEV encrypted virtual machines. This, of course, is not as pleasant and not as secure as in the case of individual encryption in the hypervisor, but in multi-tenant architectures that offer container as a service, you can encrypt for example a virtual node dedicated to the client. Consider the protective functions of the EPIC 7000 processors as a safety saving. You have hardware isolation of virtual environments available out of the box, and if you build a cloud based on Linux, you can only laugh at technologies such as Microsoft's shielded VM which can turn the VM into a brick at any awkward movement. You have protection from a compromised host by connecting strange devices, from downloading untrusted hypervisors, you have communication between VMs and CPU similar to a VLAN within the network switch, and all of it recently supports migration between hosts. You get all this as part of the server, and for you, the cost of protection is included in the price of hardware along with delivery, installation cost, and extended warranty packages. AMD SEV is a technology for such careless people, such as those that surround us. For those who do not put every update of the operating system, saves on professional configuration and maintenance of security and software. This is an opportunity for low-cost cloud services to declare the isolation of the virtual machine, shielded even from the eyes of the provider. And all this works on free software and does not require payment for the license. This is a kind of zero-day protection against threats that have not yet appeared, which sooner or later will hack the neighbor's VPS. Using memory encryption technologies, the AMD EPIC remains the most secure processor in the industry.